exploring something that is uh, taboo, so to speak. Um, I, I was hoping you could explain um, the power or the, the message behind the male sex drive, if that makes sense. Um, what I mean is um, it's something I've tried to push down because I don't understand it. The male sex drive, at least in me, seems to be quite strong, so much so that I don't know what to do with it because it seems dangerous to play with. So I put it away, if that makes any sense. And it's so powerful that it's obviously there for a reason. Um, it just seems... Um, in all areas of my well, life... Well, it is interesting to us that you're having such a hard time, bless your heart, talking about something that you've become so convinced is taboo when it is the thing that is most necessary and responsible for the perpetuation of life on this planet. In other words, what a twisted thing has happened to something that is essential to your existence. And we want to start by talking about how so many who don't understand alignment with source and the value of following your own guidance are trying to guide you and everybody else from the outside and so it's interesting how commonly they take something that is so powerfully felt within you and legislate around it in order to try to gain some sense of control it's interesting to us how many religions and how many laws are formulated around this subject and how many teenagers in the back seats of cars suffer in guilt even though they cannot stop themselves from the inevitable mm -hmm. in other words we could be having the same discussion about your craving for food <laughs> the only difference is no one's made a law yet about that <laughs> in other words if there were a law that only a drop of water were allowed every day we would be having this discussion about water over time you would come to believe in whatever it is they were saying you'd be saying I don't know what's wrong with me I keep getting thirsty I keep getting thirsty and I can't I can't seem to suppress it I try I try I try it's, not to be thirsty but I am thirsty that. my guidance system is very very tuned in when I listen to it it's absolutely correct all the time and I have a pretty easy time listening to it with everything in life and but I seem to get into I run into static in relation to women and sex and um, something inside of me will say no this is not right and something else inside of me will say but it we can make it work you know? <laughs> and I get confused and I get well a is, little... it, is your confusion more about the Commitment to one when your sex drive is interested in many It's almost like my emotions I, I can't have sex with a woman unless I'm emotionally attached to them And then when I get emotionally attached I, I just get all mixed up in the emotions that go along with that and I don't, I'm not really clear about it I guess is why I Well, here's it. Let's let's approach it from an, another standpoint for just a moment It will feel off the subject, but it really isn't let's talk about the subject of having one sexual partner or having many sexual partners so let's say that through your religious training or through your interaction with your own family things that you learned from them that you are someone who has come to the place of believing that there should be emotional commitment and that you should not have sex with someone that you are not emotionally committed to maybe even married to and that you have come to believe through what you've practiced with your thoughts and what you've observed and what you've heard from those that were close around you that this is the way that it should be it should be one partner and so as you are focused that way and feeling that way it would be a wonderful thing for the universe to line you up with someone who feels exactly the same way and you could have a wonderful relationship in like manner let's say that 
you did not have any of that religious training and you were brought up to see a much more free lifestyle around the subject of sexuality and you didn't have any what religious people or any people might call sexual hang-ups about it and you like the idea of having many sexual partners and you don't feel any discomfort about it in other words we're not talking about any contradiction of vibration within you we're going to come back to that in a moment so you're in alignment with that idea wouldn't it be nice if the universe would just bring to you and it will a partner or a multitude of partners that all feel the same way in other words it is delicious and perfect co-creation but what happens so often is this one believes in monogamy but is worried about the other and so has both in their vibration or this one is worried about it and so what the universe brings to you is not what you say you want but what you are offering vibrationally so sometimes the woman who worries most about her partner not being true to her will attract the very partners who will not be true to her because it's the more active part of her vibration and it is from this confusion that all the laws and rules then begin to erupt as people try to control each other from the outside rather than getting aligned from the inside you see now what you're talking about you're not even talking so much about you feeling one way and someone else feeling another way you're talking about you feeling all of these ways in other words you think this but you think this but you think this but you think this and what we really want to say to you is that there is not a right answer in any of this people keep wanting God to say this is the way that it is but there is not any of that look at the perpetuation of all species and understand that the population of your planet is guided from a broader perspective it is not something that can ever be orchestrated by man in terms of laws and rules and so what we would really like to say to you is that if you will get off the subject of sexuality for just a little while because we always say to people don't start with the thing that is the most difficult and try to figure out alignment choose things that are easier so take other subjects and show yourself how by moving up the emotional scale you can bring yourself into alignment and then watch how the universe yields to you and then once you've shown yourself that you can find vibrational alignment with other subjects then begin to approach the subject of your own sexuality and say things like I want to be guided from my broader perspective about this we want to say to you and it is uncomfortable for some people to hear it but sexual energy and non-physical energy are very much the same energy in other words when you are in alignment to be in alignment with who you really are and to be with a partner who's in alignment with who she really is and to have sexual intertwining you'll have an emotional bonding that you would not ever want to break but that doesn't mean it's right or wrong to approach it in different ways so it's hard to be one who is out collecting data and yet that's really what we are encouraging you to do you just have to decide that you are a worthy being and that source is on your side and that you can find alignment with this and you will good time for Thank a segment you. of refreshment we are complete